Alright guys, how's it going? So this is an oldie, but it's certainly a goodie. Now last night during the Blender Royale battle, the theme was forest, and one of the users ended up using TreeGen, and it kinda jogged my memory again. And he pretty much swore by the application, it was one of these, it's the most underrated add-ons that you can get. So I thought, it might as well be worth taking a look today. Now I'm fully aware you have much more fully fledged, pardon the pun, <laughs> applications, you have commercial add-ons, you also have a couple of free add-ons that come in bulk with Blender. But TreeGen, it just gives you nice variation, there's loads of variables that you can change around and it's great if you have something in the background or you're just needing to quickly knock up a tree. It's available for free, I'll put the link in the description down below. Now one thing you actually need to do is you actually need to go into your Blender folder, go to scripts, go to add-ons and you need to drop in the chi underscore trees folder and then you enable it in the preferences. So let's just quickly get into this and let's go into Blender. And we'll just take a look at some of the basic options. Now we can load that kind of default here, so you have things like a silver birch, palm tree, Douglas fir, European larch, stuff like this. So I'm just going to go for a simple apple tree and I'm going to load the tree parameters. Now if you actually drop down to tree customization, you can see here this is where we can actually give a lot of variation and a lot of variety to tree. Now you also have things like leaves and blossoms, so I'm actually going to take the leaves off and I'm going to put the leaf count down and we have a whole bunch of parameters here, let me just drag this out so we can see a little bit. So you have number of branches, the length, the distribution, the curve resolution, so you can control just about pretty much anything that it actually generates. If you actually go down to tree gen utilities, you can see here render after generation, which I don't want to do, convert to mesh, nah I'm happy with curves and just basic leaves at the moment, and create LODs after generation, so that might come in handy if you're having loads of proxies and you just want to kind of do a level of detail switch. But anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly just generate a tree and that's how quick it is. Look at that. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. Pretty sexy to be honest. Now, this will work beautifully in the background. Now, there's one thing I'll not criticise it with because it's kind of hard to do, but there's not any materials attached to this object. Now, if I select the object, you can see here it's technically a curve at the moment. And when I go to the materials, there's no material applied. Now, this could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing to be honest. Now you could obviously download a simple tree texture or you could even do it procedural. But at the end of the day, there's no materials attached and that'll take you a couple of seconds. But anyway, let's just generate another tree just for some giggles. And let's pick something like, let's go for a Douglas fir. A Douglas fir. And I'm actually going to generate some leaves on this one. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly move this to the left hand side and then I'm going to hit generate. Now we'll leave the seed on zero which randomly generates. Let's generate a tree and let's see what we get. And you can see that it takes a couple of seconds. And there we go, another tree. So you have different variation when it comes to like leaf shape. You have elliptic, you have a spiky oak, you have a rounded oak, you have a rectangle which is probably used for putting your own leaf type on with an alpha map so that could come in handy as well. Now you can change these variables obviously, you can do things like a leaf scale, leaf width, leaf bend, stuff like this, let's be honest, there's loads of things you can play around with. Same with the branch parameters as well, you can change the distribution mode, the taper, stuff like this, and including the trunk, you can actually make the trunk wider, thicker, whatever. But we'll just jump back into Blender quickly, and that tree would look perfect in the background, let's be honest here. It works pretty cool. So we'll just do something like a palm tree, so I'll load the tree parameters, so you can see here everything changes, and I'll just quickly generate a tree, and we get a palm tree. <laughs> How cool is this? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, it would take you a couple of minutes to model something like that. And that is pretty much tree gen. I mean, it really is an oldie, but it does come in handy. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, support me on Gumroad, you know what to do. Take care.